This video is brought to you by Manscaped. More about them at the end of the video. Yeah, no, no updates yet on the, um, the Islanders and Vancouver potential trade. Okay, so right now, guys, we're looking potentially at Shane Wright going right now. So if Shane Wright goes right now, that means you have Matty Beneers, Shane Wright, Yanni Gord right down the middle for Seattle. You got to love think that Shane center. Wright plays this year, though. But we're talking about him within a year. Yeah, Whoa. I mean, that, that, that's good. That, that, that's good center depth. Hold on. Ooh, okay. Two trades. Two trades. Ooh, there we go. They involved the no. Canadian. Did they move up to get Shane Wright? There no, is no, no way. Oh, uh oh. Wow. The Islanders just got Romanov? Wait. Wow. To the Chicago. Oh, wow. All right, so first off, everybody, here's a shot for the first trade. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to catch everybody up on everything in one second. Yep. Holy uh, shit. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, Oh. Let's listen to Logan Johnny. Shots? Okay. Phil is speechless. Everybody, if you got a shot, start pouring them. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining, interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos. So uh, let's listen to Logan Johnny. Shots? Okay. Phil is speechless. Everybody, if you got a shot, start pouring them. Yeah. Okay. So first off, Anthony Alexander Romanoff, talk about it. All right. Um, Romanoff is actually a good friend of Ilya Sorokin. They played together on CSKA Moscow. Um, Romanoff. Romanov actually came over the same year as Sorokin. They both went to the bubble but weren't able to play. Um, you know, Romanov, uh, Romanov is a hard-nosed defenseman. He's not afraid to hit. Um, his offensive game, I think, is still developing, but he's he could skate well and he plays a physical style of D. Um, I mean, the first overall for him and pick number nine, I mean – I don't, I don't know about trading the, the first for him, but uh, I, I think Lou, I mean, with this JT Miller talk, he has other stuff going on. So I'll wait to, to kind of like a finished product here, but I'm, I'm really surprised by that. And Kirby That's Doc. Kirby Doc, going to Montreal. I thought for sure when he announced two trades, he was saying that, that – Montreal got the fourth overall pick from Seattle. So I'm I'm stunned that it's just Kirby Doc. So yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I mean the the, the word you know Anthony's hard work right now. Today, Phil, go ahead. The word, the word going around earlier on today was that um Davidson wanted um he wanted a first round pick for Black, uh, Kirby Doc, and he got that first round pick. So I, I really wonder if this puts a damper in the JT Miller to New York Islanders um, rumors now. Because how do you get him now? What are you giving up? 
Well, right. keep in mind, um, we thought that Alex DeBrinket would return a lot more than he did. So, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't know what what. I, I don't. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I get what you're saying, but at the same time, if you've heard the asking prices from Vancouver on JT Miller, I, I mean, you would you would understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. I, 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 they, they wanted, they wanted something like Schneider. Um, All right, guys. Tom by the way, friend here and a first round pick for for JT Miller. Just wow. But what's the upside on Romanov, guys? Top four defender, physical two way defender. Yeah. That can move the puck well. I think he's probably a 30 or so point defender at best. But he can move the puck well. If you want, I I don't want to sound like I'm trying to culturally appropriate anything just because of the nationality or the ethnicity, I should say. But um, I, I think a very fair comparison for him is actually um, – I'm drawing a blank on his name. I I Wait, which guy? Him. What's that? For, for, which for guy Ron? got distracted by Ron? Ron, Ron Francis Shane went Wright. right to the podium and then on Shane Wright. Shane Wright, yeah, good. No, good. A good pick for good pick for them there. Uh, uh, to get him at four is actually really good in this draft. I'm not gonna lie, it's a steal for Seattle. He, he, uh, Ron Francis must have been foaming at the mouth to go get Shane Wright to have him fall at four. But um. So, Phil, fin finish what you're saying about Ron. Uh, Dmitry Orlov. Sorry, that's who I that's who I was thinking. I was drawing a blank on it, but I think Dmitry Orlov is actually a very good comparison for what I think uh, Alex Romanov can be. So, I mean, if you get a, if you're getting a Dmitry Orlov for the Islanders, I mean, I, that's pretty good. I mean, that's that's the type of guy that they need right now. You you go put him with Scott Mayfield. And you you build up that top four again, the Islanders are then probably going to be a tougher team to play against, provided that Romanov uh, takes that next step in his development. And then you got Noah Dobson, I mean, who had an incredible year, who looks like he's well on his way to being a star defenseman for a long time. So, um, I, or no, or uh, Tom, I disagree here. Dmitry Orlov is very physical. You could you could post yes. a high level of his like biggest hits, and it would probably be at least three four minutes long. So, and that's without replays. So, um, I, I I don't agree with this at all. I, I don't I don't agree with anyone saying that Orlov is is not as physical or isn't physical or anything like that. I, I I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I watch a lot of Washington Capitals hockey because. They're in the division, and they end up being on a lot of nights that the Rangers aren't on. I, I totally disagree with that. I, I think the Islanders lose that trade, but – I, I, Did they think it was Natasha Romanoff? I mean, so, I would I would trade the 13th overall pick for Natasha Romanoff too. Especially so, Mark, um, holy shit, Mark, remember um, before Phil came out, I mentioned uh, Kevin Kerr said in in Lou's media pre-draft media availability um, yesterday or two days ago. He said in a perfect world he wants to add a offensive defenseman and a defensive defenseman. So he just added your defensive defenseman. So keep an eye out. I, I think I think through trade or free agency, you know, Bovillier still Jacob there. Jacob Chikrin. He talked about making hockey trades. I think I think he still might pull a move for an offensive D. So just keep your eye on that. All right. Uh, Flyers right now are on the clock, everybody. 51 of you are watching right now. We got 19 likes on YouTube at the moment, two now on Facebook. Everybody, thank you very much for joining us. 
We've got a lot more to cover, and we got a lot more hockey talk for you tonight. And this is this has been so far the most exciting NHL draft I've seen in a while. What do you guys think? We're only five picks in. It, it's exciting because it's not predictable, and that that's that's a cool thing, you know. You know what else it is? They brought this up earlier in the night or in the afternoon. So I mentioned this. I mentioned this before, guys. Um, how does Patrick Kane? I know it was stated. I know it was stated that Patrick Kane had. Let me know if he thinks his parents. The, case, the Blackhawks said they weren't going to approach Patrick Kane about being traded. He don't. He would only be moved if he came to them and made it known he wanted out. What is he thinking right now? You, you just traded a 24-year-old Alex DeBrinket. You just traded an even younger Kirby Doc. Um, Dylan Strome wasn't qualified. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in his head. Like I said, he's already won three cups. I don't know for him if, if that's if, you know if he's satisfied by that. But you got to think that he may at this point just want out now. I mean, they the Blackhawks. I 100 percent agree with you, Anthony. 100 percent. Can Buffalo be in play to get him? Go back to your hometown. That that old Hold story. On. DP just said, oh, Biron, the here, so this comment. Biron said the Rangers are happy because this means Kane will be available. It means yeah, Patrick think, Kane think, will be on the market. I think he got Biron confused with Boucher. Boucher's right now on TV on ESPN. I think um, he meant to say Boucher. That, that, I was Biron. trying to tell you guys to stop because I couldn't hear the TV, and Mark just kept talking over me. <laughs> My bad. You're the worst. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.